well, my connection with the Sabre here, particularly the 77 Squadron, although I was RAF, I had an exchange posting with uh, 77 Squadron back in 1955-57. Um, I'd been uh, flying in, uh, in a Sabre Squadron in Germany with the RAF, which was the old uh, um, Canadair Sabre, and uh, I came out here on exchange posting, I guess, because I had experience and the RAAF was about to re-equip with Sabres. So I went to Williamtown and joined 77, who had, uh, had Meteors at the time, and so I also got some experience flying the Meteor, which was a, was a great, great aircraft, great fun flying. Um, and, uh, but then I became involved in the, uh, the conversion of uh, 77 Squadron to, uh, to the, to the um, Australian Sabre. And um, that, um, you know, I was thinking back of the, uh, the, 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 those aircraft, the, the change from um, flying the, uh, the Meteor, which I uh, say was a, was a great aircraft, but was, as was mentioned by the commentators out here, those British aircraft in those days were fairly basic in size. You, know, you operated by pulling levers and that sort of thing. And of course, going to the, uh, the Sabre was uh, a tremendous leap forward because the Sabre, the Americans do this cockpit all, and everything was all singing, all dancing. You just pressed buttons and uh, you know, hydraulic controls and nose wheel steering and all those sort of things. Uh, made it a uh, really huge jump jump forward uh, to fly. Although some of the things weren't quite as good. I always remember the, the ejector seat. Uh, the Meteor had the Martin Baker and the, uh, the Sabre had this, um, I forget what it was now, the, the American uh, seat. Two which, stage one? Yeah, which, yeah, and no blinds over your face, nothing. You just went bang. You know, they were, so, the, so that wasn't, uh, wasn't quite as good.